MSG, monosodium glutamate also known as sodium glutamate is the sodium salt of glutamic acid. Glutamic acid is the purest form of umami which is one of the five basic tastes. Umami is derived from Japanese words omai and mi which mean good taste. MSG was originally identified as a taste enhancer in 1908 by Japanese biochemist Ikeda Kikunai. Fact 1. We consume between 10 grams and 20 grams of glutamate from our diet, of which glutamate from seasoning or condiments is less than 10%. MSG occurs naturally in ingredients such as hydrolyzed vegetable protein, autolyzed yeast, hydrolyzed yeast, yeast extract, soy extracts, and protein isolate, as well as in tomatoes and cheeses. Fact 2. MSG is a fermented food. Kikanai Ikeda extracted glutamate from seaweed broth and determined that glutamate provided the savory taste to the soup. Professor Ikeda then filed a patent to produce MSG and commercial production started the following year. Today, however instead of extracting and crystallizing MSG from seaweed broth, MSG is produced by the fermentation of carbohydrates, starch, sugar beets, sugar cane or molasses. This fermentation process is similar to that used to make yogurt, vinegar and wine, produce MSG, bacteria cultured with ammonia and carbohydrates excretes amino acids into a culture broth, from which L-glutamate is isolated. It's then stabilized with sodium, filtered, concentrated, acidified, and crystallized into a white, odorless crystalline powder. Fact 3. Glutamate helps human body. Glutamate is important for healthy metabolism. However, most of the dietary glutamate we consume is used as fuel by the cells of the digestive system. The body treats glutamate in exactly the same way whether it comes from the food we eat or is added as seasoning in the form of monosodium glutamate. Fact 4. MSG is healthier than salt. Reducing table salt by using MSG reduces the sodium content of recipes, as MSG has two-thirds less sodium than table salt. Only a small amount of added glutamate is required to optimize umami taste, using more won't do you any harm but, as with salt, the food might not taste as good. Increasing the umami taste in food by increasing the level of free glutamate can result in salt and fat reduced recipes that still taste satisfying. Fact 5. Babies love glutamate. Infants, including premature babies, metabolize glutamate the same as adults. Research has shown that newborn infants are able to detect and prefer the taste of glutamate. Glutamate is actually 10 times more abundant in human breast milk than in cow's milk. Fact 6. MSG can not improve your bad cooking skills. The natural flavor enhancing levels of glutamate in food varies greatly, but is high in foods such as tomatoes, mushrooms and parmesan cheese. MSG enhances many but not all food flavors through the interaction between glutamate and other flavors. It works well with a variety of foods including meats, poultry, seafood and many vegetables. It is used to enhance the flavor of some soups, stews, meat-based sauces and snack foods. MSG harmonizes well with salty and sour tastes, but does little for sweet foods such as cakes, pastries or candies. MSG can not improve bad tasting food or make up for bad cooking skills and does not tenderize meat. It just makes good food taste better. Fact 7. MSG is safe as long as used in moderation. As per the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, a large quantity is anything exceeding 3 grams or close to two-thirds of a teaspoon of MSG. Considering the recommended amount for seasoning about five servings of fried rice or about a pound of meat is one-fourth to half a teaspoon, consuming a large quantity seems unlikely. Fact 8. Chinese Restaurant Syndrome. Chinese Restaurant Syndrome was invented in 1968. Dr. Robert Ho Man Kwok, in 1968, wrote a speculative letter to the New England Journal of Medicine. He described some negative symptoms he experienced after eating Chinese food and he named it Chinese Restaurant Syndrome. Suddenly, MSG became almost exclusively associated with Chinese even though it is added in several foods including many commercially packaged snacks. Fact 9. MSG could be linked to weight gain. Researchers found that people who eat more MSG are more likely to be overweight or obese. 
and the increased risk wasn't simply because people were stuffing themselves with MSG-rich foods. The link between high MSG intake and being overweight held even after accounting for the total number of calories people ate. Kahi, a nutrition expert at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, who led the study, said that although the risk of weight gain attributable to MSG was modest, the implications for public health are substantial. Everybody eats it, as reported by Reuters Health. Fact 10. MSG could treat inadequate food intake the elderly in future. Scientist Takashi Sasano and his colleagues at Tohoku University in Sendai, Japan, concerned about the inadequate food intake of the elderly, found that giving them kelp-enriched tea could enhance their appetite. As reported in an article in New Scientist by Jessica Hamzelu in January 2015, the kelp, which is exceedingly rich in monosodium glutamate (MSG), stimulated food intake. The scientists speculated that an increase in saliva secretion was the reason. Bonus fact. Human stomach and gut lining are rich in glutamate receptors. MSG and other forms of glutamate are absorbed through interaction with these receptors. Once in the gut, glutamate is either broken down to act as fuel, or incorporated into other molecules. If you like our content please like, share, and subscribe.